Well, here now and throughout this election night, Crown Force political analyst Michael Yaki is here all week long. All of the pundits right. have been saying that it's a foregone conclusion almost that the Senate, the United States Senate, is going to flip to the Republicans. Well, if you look at the polls, that's certainly what the numbers seem to say. And there are about 10 states right now in play, of which eight are held by Democrats. The Republicans really need to win just three of those, and then that will that will flip the control over to the to the to the Republicans. Already, we've heard that Kentucky is being called right. that uh, Mitch McConnell is going to keep his seat. He is the current uh, Senate minority right. leader. But of course, should the uh, the the uh, political power balance change, then he could become the majority leader in the uh, Senate. Uh, what is this going to all say as we're looking ahead now? President Obama has been the centerpiece of all of right. the Republican campaigns. Uh, what is this saying about how any of uh, our institutions are going to be able to move forward? Well, I'd like to say that sometimes you, you be careful what you wish for, you may get it. You've had Senator Ted Cruz talking about Mitch McConnell's majority leader, but the same tactics that Ted Cruz used to sort of subvert Mitch McConnell, the Democrats will use as a minority party to subvert whatever the majority will try and do, because the fact is you do not have a, a veto-proof or filibuster-proof majority in either the House or the Senate, no matter which way this election goes tonight, which means that the Democrats and the Senate still have a lot of leverage to use. But that's awful news for the electorate. I mean, that means well, nothing's going to get done again. Well, it, I guess it depends on, which, on how you look at it. The fact is, is that the Republicans being elected now or being elected with the message they have to get something done, they're probably not going to get anything done. And in two years, more of them are on the ballot in vulnerable states than the Democrats are. So this could be a two-year flip. There's a lot of, there's a, it's, some of this is just inside po political yeah. stuff going on right now. The, what it means to the average person really is uncertain. But one thing that can be certain, very little will probably get done in the next two years. And President Obama will learn to use the word veto a lot. Yeah, boy, that's really depressing, Michael, as we head into this election day. I'm just trying to tell you what, what's going to happen. <laughs> um, you said Virginia as a key state to watch. Why? Well, Virginia, because... The, I call it the Obama triple whammy, which is he have an unpopular president that tends to motivate the Republicans. It depresses Democratic, de Democratic turnout, and surprises happen. The surprise in this case is Mark Warner, a rising star of the Democratic Party, is fighting for his political life tonight. He was up 7, 10 points. The RNC didn't even put money into this race, but Ed Gillespie, the former, treasurer, the former chair of the Republican okay. National Committee, former Bush aide, is making a big race. It's very close. It's too close to call right well, now. People are watching Iowa, Colorado. I mean, and then, there are a number and then, of states and then Virginia that came could, out. It came out of nowhere. Yeah, that could uh, say a lot about what's going to happen tonight. We'll be here all evening to follow the numbers.